The final touches are being put on the marathon markers along Boston's Boylston Street. Today, massive stone pieces were carefully put in place at the site of the marathon bombings. The memorial has been in the works now for years. And with today's installation, the site is finally complete. WBZ Zana Myler has more now at noon from Back Bay. Police escorted the final pieces of the Boston Marathon bombings memorial down Boylston Street this morning. Crews then carefully lowered the granite stones into place, completing the emotional installation that has been years in the making. I hope that we give people just a little bit of quietness so that they can come into the space and, and just reflect a little. The artist Pablo Eduardo worked closely with the victims' families to design the memorial. These bronze spires were installed last month. Today, these three stones were added. Each have a special meaning behind them. Crystal Campbell's was uh, sourced out of Spectacle Island where she uh, volunteered with children and where she was very happy. Um, the stone for Lindsay came out of the Boston University Bridge where she was uh, um, attending school and the stone from Martin Richard was, found, uh, was sourced out of uh, Franklin Park in Dorchester where he's from. The stone for 29-year-old Crystal Campbell sits at the site of the first blast, while the stones for 8-year-old Martin Richard and 23-year-old Lingzi Liu are fused together at the site of the second. Though the stones are in separate places, they are meant to fit like a puzzle. It's a beautiful thing and I think it'll be a moment for, uh, for people to come by and, and find peace and and reflect. Many people passing by pause to take in the moving site, including a longtime volunteer for the Boston Marathon. And I just feel like I'm shaking inside, you know, that it's just, it's, I love the city and I love Boston and the people of Boston and I think it's just going to bring everybody together. Lingzi Liu's family traveled here from China to see the finished memorials. Right now there's no word on whether there will be an official ceremony. Reporting in Boston, Anna Myler, WBZ News.